Today our group of Psalms is Psalm 103 through 107. And listen to some of the themes of these Psalms. It deals with praise and thanksgiving. It talks about God's amazing mercy, the creation and the beauty of nature and the world that God has set us in, the faithfulness of God, the forgiveness of sin, and the great work of God's hand of deliverance in all our lives. In fact, listen to 107, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. D David is in a time of great praise and exaltation of the Lord. And he says, oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. A and today, it would be amazing if you or I sat down and we just began to think of all the things that we could be thankful for that the Lord has done in our life to look back at all the ways in which he stepped in and rescued us, and to look forward to all the good things that lie ahead in this place called heaven. David in Psalm 103 to 107 begins to discuss the greatness and the goodness, not just of God, but of this amazing place called earth that he's placed us in. So he ends it there in this grouping of Psalms by saying, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who has redeemed us from the hand of the enemy. And in a nutshell, that's one of the greatest things God's ever done. He's delivered us from the hands of the enemy. We were lost, we were without hope, and our destiny wasn't too good. And God came and redeemed us, rescued us from the hand of the enemy. All of us can remember, I think, what it was like before we came to Christ. And like David, we can say, hey, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let us praise him, let us thank him, for he has delivered us from the hand of the enemy.